Good morning, Internet. Welcome to another episode of The Micro Bear Gourmet, the show where I try out tasty or sometimes not so tasty microwavable food. Unfortunately, I'm going it alone here today. Uh, no, no co-host, even though I am in in her apartment at the moment. She's uh, she's at work, so she. Uh, I asked her, do you do you want me to save the the burritos or anything for you to try on the show? And she's like, I don't know, don't worry about it. So, so I'm starving, so I'm eating them for breakfast. I'm gonna get uh, two episodes out of this. One of them is gonna be. <laughs> I'm polar the polar bear, by the way. If I didn't say that, which I don't think I did. Sorry, I am. It is like 84, and I am from a place where it's usually about 55. So I'm, and I, I turned the fan off so it wouldn't blow across the laptop, get in, a, get in the shot, get on the speakers, and make the audio difficult. But that is breakfast item number one: uh, chimichanga steak and cheese from Jose Olay, which Jose Olay makes some tasty stuff and. I've had these before, but it's it's been a long time since the last time I ate one, and so I, you know, I figured, and I haven't done one for the show yet, so I figured I'd do one for the show, and it just looks, it looks about as you'd expect it to look. It's just a chimmy, whoop, it's just a microwave chimmy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut into it. Hopefully it's cooked all the way through. Rock hard, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I'm still trying to get into it. It's like a bank vault. Okay, got it. Got it open. Let me get you a view of the inside there before I. There you go. That should hopefully you can you can see some of the steak in there and the cheese sauce. And uh, it's gonna take a bite. It's cooked properly. That's a good sign. Mm. Actually, gonna take another bite of that. Mm. Oh yeah. All right. I'm gonna stop eating that and review it. Uh, just the fact that it's it's difficult for me to stop eating long enough to review should tell you that I quite like it. Yeah, uh, Jose Olay uh, never really disappoints. I mean, I haven't had a bad product from Jose Olay yet, and uh, love chimichangas. Uh, the the steak. The steak's a little thick, um, which I, I I don't necessarily like the the thick cut shredded beef in uh, Mexican food. That's just it's not my thing. I I like the uh, uh, kind of the more finely shredded beef or chorizo. Um, sometimes spicy chicken can be a good option if that's available. Uh, if if only if there was something that I could get chorizo in that was a microwavable, I'd I'd do it on the show because I love chorizo; it's delicious. But um, so that's uh, I'm trying to think. It's well above average. I mean, it's a uh, I'd I'd say that's about that's about an eight. I mean, that's a pretty excellent um, microwave food. Uh, detractors, it's they're they're a little expensive. Um, I don't remember the exact price. I think it was close to two bucks, though, which for just like a little chimichanga is is kind of is kind of high. Uh, as usual, they could probably uh, they could probably afford to put a little bit more filling in there, but actually the filling ratio in the in the uh, Jose Ole steak and cheese chimichanga is pretty pretty decent. So let's see here. Uh, I think I think that's yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, very tasty. Eight out of ten. Um, definitely recommend, uh, if, if you know a place where you can get them and these Jose Olay, I think is a, is a, uh, nationwide brand. Uh, I don't know if they're international or not, but they're definitely, uh, nationwide. So if you live in, uh, if you live in, uh, in the U S go, go see if you can find one, eat one They're They're very tasty. Um, 
I'm going to go grab my other item uh, out of the microwave and uh, get the snap for that. But before I do that, I'm going to cut out on this episode. So thank you for joining me for another episode of the Micro Bear Gourmet. And I hopefully will see you guys in like three seconds for the next video. <laughs>